If you want a good value cordless water flosser from an industry leading brand, I don't think you can do much better than the cordless pulse. What gripes I have with this flosser are small and certainly not reasons enough to avoid it. Just to clarify, I am combining the review of two flossers into one here because they are basically the same. The main difference is the power slider switch. They look marginally different, with the pulse's slider being slightly more textured. Therefore, when I say pulse, I am also referring to the enhance. The pulse is one of the most affordable, rechargeable cordless models Waterpick offers. The retail price is $50. It might be possible to snag a few dollars off from time to time, but I haven't seen any big discounts being offered. Over three years, it costs around $70 to own when factoring in the replacement nozzles at $5 per time. Two jet style tips are included as standard. I think this is very reasonable given the performance. The Cordless Express from Waterpick is about $10 cheaper, but it's powered by removable AA batteries. I find removable batteries a little less convenient, but I know some users prefer this option. I've generally found that relying on such increased long-term ownership costs and you don't get any feedback on the remaining power, so you always need some spares on hand. There is too the older rechargeable WP360 cordless model which works out marginally cheaper, but it looks dated and the bulky adapter and two-pin charging solution is far worse in my opinion. If you want the absolute best value, without doubt, brands like Bitvey are far more cost effective. Their C2 model costs around $30 to buy and includes five jet style nozzles. Further replacement tips work out around $3 each. You can essentially buy two Bitvey C2 for the price of one Waterpick Pulse. The main unit itself is a smooth touch plastic. My unit is blue, but it's available in grey and white too. The slider switch that turns the flosser on to either of the two pressure settings is textured and easy to use. It stands out from the body of the rest of the handle nicely. I can't switch between modes before powering the flosser on. This is something you can do on more expensive options. I don't think it's a big issue, just something to be aware of. I'm a big fan of the curvature of the back of the flosser and the raised dots help give the fingers something to grip onto. It feels far more secure and has a less cramped grip than the cordless select. I think even smaller hands won't find holding the pulse too much of an issue. Sliding on and off the back is the transparent 6 ounce 177ml water tank. I think it's easier to fill whilst attached to the flosser. The main reason it's removable is to make it easier to clean. It's a bit tricky to get a cloth in to dry it out properly but it can dry quicker when detached. It's also safe to be cleaned in the top rack of a dishwasher. When full, the reservoir offers approximately 40 seconds of flossing time on the higher pressure setting and 50 seconds on the lower. If you have mastered the art of flossing, this might be enough time, but even as a more experienced user, I did find myself at times refilling this. It's not particularly quiet in use at around 71 decibels, but this is comparable to similar products. 45 and 75 are the quoted PSI figures for the two modes available. I think this caters to most people. Even with countertop models with 10 settings, I generally only stick to a couple of them and don't use them all. I know some love the extra power that some cordless and countertop units offer. If you want a powerful unit, you will need to look at other models like the Burst Water Flosser. Flossing times are compromised as a result of the extra power. Although I've experienced firsthand how more powerful options can blast away more plaque and debris, the mess in my sink confirms the pulse is doing a pretty decent job. I've learnt power only has a small part to play in how effective a flosser is. My technique is arguably more important. I try to make sure I hold it at 90 degrees to the gum line. It's a bit of a shame I can't rotate the nozzle like other models. It certainly isn't a deal breaker, but I do find reaching some areas of the mouth easier if the flosser has one. The Cordus Advance has the best rotating nozzle of any model I've tested in recent years. The Pulse is well suited to those who have smaller bathrooms that can't accommodate a countertop unit. It also works well if you like to floss whilst in the shower. It is water resistant. I've gotten around the one month of usage time Waterpick suggests from the rechargeable lithium ion battery sealed inside the flosser body. There is a small LED on the side of the unit that flashes eight times when the power is low. It pulses when on charge and turns a steady white when fully charged. Future-proofing the flosser is the USB Type-C connector for charging. I like that it is recessed into the body and protected by a cover. I wish there was a bit more flex in the cover though. It is quite tight and I managed to pull mine off when I first accessed it. 
I got it back in place again without too much trouble, but it isn't designed to be removed fully. You just need to pull it open and bend it back. Recharging via the supplied USB-A to Type-C cable takes about 4 hours. No 2-pin USB plug is supplied, which might be a frustration for some. I have plenty of USB plug adapters from other gadgets I can make use of. It's not the cheapest, nor is it the absolute best cordless flosser, but it is a solid option for the price. It delivers better value with few compromises compared to their range-topping cordless advanced, which I like a lot.